My name is Tyler Melton. I'm the owner of Proclaim Roofing. Born and raised in West Texas, Odessa, Texas. Went to Permian High School. Graduated from Texas Christian University. I've been in the roofing industry almost 10 years, since 2011. You know, I worked for another company for about five years. I was their top rep for five years. I ended up selling over a million dollars every single year. My second year in the roofing business, you know, I sold about two and a half million dollars in roofs. Didn't know anything about roofing. Never really had a sales job before, but I knew I wanted to make a lot of money. I knew I wanted to help a lot of people. And I I love being outside, I love talking to people. The industry's perfect for me. What got me into roofing was uh, one of my buddies at TCU, he's actually started a roofing company. You know, I went to work for him for five plus years and I was his top rep. But luckily he introduced me into the business and I kind of took it and ran with it. You know, I always wanted something where I could be outside. I have an athletic background, so you know, I love being competitive in a competitive atmosphere, competitive industry. So roofing had my name all over it because as you guys know, it's very competitive. I just view it like a sport. How was roofing in 2016 compared to now? 2016 was a crazy year for me. It was when I first started Proclaim. You know, there was big hailstorms, huge hailstorms, the biggest in like 15 years. It was good and bad, right? There was a lot of work out there, but there was a labor shortage. It was very hard to get good crews to work for me. You know, and I only had two or three sales guys back then. So compared to now, you know, I have 55 guys. You know, we've done over $60 million of work. It's, it's night and day. You know, the logistics of my company are night and day. I have about 10 full-time employees. You know, I have a full-time operations, production, sales, Office, you know, accounts receivable, accounts payable. Um, I have full staff, you know, I have several locations as well. It's night and day, 2016 compared to 2020 are completely opposites. It's pretty difficult to run a big team of 50 plus guys. You know, I'm very thankful that I do have a great team, a bunch of great individuals with integrity. Um, and then I have great team leaders, you know, and I have a great sales manager, great production manager. So without the team behind me, it would be impossible to manage the 50 guys. You know, luckily we put them through a pretty strict hiring process. Like I said, we only hire good people. That's our number one quality is you, you gotta be a good person, man. I don't care if you have sales experience or not. If you're not a good person, you just can't work for us. Um, if you don't fit our core values, we'd rather not have you. You know, I rely on my team leaders to lead their teams. So we kind of divide it out to where it's not just one guy managing 50 people. We got six, seven teams. Each team has got five to eight guys on it. Like I said, it's difficult sometimes, but you know, when you rely on your team leads like I do, and when you train your guys and train leaders, uh, and I'm personally a visionary, you know, I make sure the guys see my vision and I make sure I lead from the front always. And I focus on leading the leaders and then that trickle down effect is just there throughout the whole company. What keeps me driven? I'm a big Christian so the Lord keeps me driven. He keeps me motivated. He keeps me humbled uh, every single day and I'm very grateful for all the blessings I receive. Besides that, my family, you know, I've lost all my grandparents about five years ago. They're part of my why. You know, I want to leave a legacy. You know, I want to provide opportunities across the United States. For, for me, it's about giving back and it's just about going out there and making it happen. My main why is to provide opportunity for men and women across the United States to better their lives, to give them a vehicle to go out, make as much money as they want. And at the same time, we're restoring America. We're helping people. We're giving back. So on every job that we replace, we give back a certain amount. We partnered with nonprofits, you know, Make-A-Wish Foundation, a few other foundations. That's really why I do it, is to help, to help others, not only individually, but to help them with their insurance claim, with their roofing system. If it's right for them, I give them an opportunity, a vehicle to go out, make as much money as they want. That way they can take care of their family, pay for their kids' costs college, buy a new house. That's really why I do it, to change people's life for the better, to lead from the front, and to do things the right way and set a good example. Favorite part of being an owner is just uh, leading people. I was born to lead people. It's probably my biggest blessing in life. I was a natural born leader. Again, I love leading from the front. I love doing things the right way, being a good Christian, and worshiping God and spreading the word, just walking with the spirit every day. Like I said, just helping everyone around me, whether that's you know you or your mom, my roofing crew or someone I meet out in the street that works for another company. Company. Literally, I just try to help as many people as I can and I try to give back to as many people as I can because people have helped me along the way and I'll always appreciate that so I will always help as many people as I can. My least favorite part about being an owner is probably when people, you know, take advantage of me. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I try to help people to an overextent sometimes. Sometimes it comes back to bite me. You know, I take the good with the bad. That's how I live my life. Uh, no one's going to change me as a person just because the way that they treated me. I'm always going to be pure. I'm always going to help people the, the most I can. You know, that's probably my least favorite part. You know, I take the good with the bad because no matter what you do in life, there's always going to be good. There's always going to be bad. So why, why focus on the bad, you know? Focus on the good because what you put your attention on, on, it creates, right? You manifest that. And I love to manifest my future. It's my favorite question. So explain what it means to be a knock star. You know, you guys can see my bracelet right here. You know, knock star. 
It's a Sky Diamonds thing. Knockstar means you go out and you knock and you generate as much business as you want and you realize that door knocking is not a bad thing. The door-to-door -door industry is a movement. Without door knocking, my life would not have changed. You know, I built this company by door knocking. 2016, I went out and sold two and a half million dollars in roofs in about four months. That's how I bankrolled the company. That's how I started the company. That's how I was able to hire people, build roofs, pay bills. For me, door knocking is everything. It literally is my life. It changed my life. Without the door-to-door -door industry, my life would be different. I wouldn't have a life. You know, I credit everything to not only God, for him challenging me and making me a door knocker. I didn't used to be good, right? I used to struggle to knock on someone's door and get them to let me on the roof and have them trust me. And now I just really enjoy it. And I know I'm there to help them no matter how they feel. I'm here to help. I know what I have to offer. I know we do quality work. I know that we're gonna leave their house better after we finish than when we found it. And for me, that's, that's all I need to go out and knock on people's doors. Just literally to offer a helping hand and to educate these people on the process and what they're missing out on and maybe hidden damage, help with the insurance. There's 10,000 roofing companies in Dallas. Why would you choose Proclaim, right? So what we do is we come in and we show you what we do different. We show you that we have more insurance and we show you that we care more basically and that you're gonna have a better overall experience with us. And that's really why we do it is it's all for the customer's experience. It's to help you guys. And obviously we wanna feed our families as well. But first, you know, we're not here to get rich on, on one claim or anything like that. We're here to be a roofer for life. We're here to help you. You know, like I said, whether it's to help move your fridge, help build a fence, help paint your house, need us to come build you a shelf inside your house. I mean, we're literally just here to help and we're here to give back to our communities. For every job that we build, we donate at least a couple hundred dollars to your nonprofit of choice. But that's our main thing is, is just showing up and being able to help people. So this commercial job here, you know, we're doing a little over 300 squares. We're doing it in one day. It's one of my commercial clients. Uh, actually, my guy, Michael Plemons sold this. He works for us, great guy. You know, this job here, the insurance actually denied it at first. They sent engineers out, they wanted to underpay it. We ended up getting about $30,000 more added to the claim. We were able to build this job now. We, we got about 100 guys here in one day. We're gonna finish this whole job in one day. So if you're a commercial property owner watching this, just know that we work quick and we do quality work and we have a cleanup commitment guarantee. You know, we always clean up your property and protect it better than it was before. We roll a magnetic roller to pick up all the nails. And again, we care about your experience. You're obviously gonna have a better roofing system. We get rid of all the builder grade products. We put all of the top products in the nation on your property from certainty landmark shingle to synthetic underlayment to ice and water shield in your valleys to brand new metal pipe boots instead of plastic, metal vents instead of plastic. You know, we get the staples off your roof. We go back with nails. So we do everything per the manufacturer specifications. And this is a big job. They needed it finished in one day, no problem. You know, I have one crew that has 100 guys. This is not a problem at all. You know, we've already got, you know, probably 90% of this side done. And we will finish today before dark. It'll be clean. They're gonna show up on Monday. They're gonna be no nails. They're not even gonna know we were here besides their brand new roofs. Very proud of this job. And it's fun to watch 100 guys on one roof knock it out. And just to have the logistics down, you know, we got five, six dump trailers here. We've got one crew leader on site. We got a project manager on site. This is fun. This is why we do it. You know, commercial roofing, residential roofing, we do it all. No matter what roof type, we do it all. We do TPO, slate, tile. We do it all. You know, we also do solar now as well. So if you're interested in saving some money uh, going solar, you know, just go ahead and click the link below, fill out your information. You know, that's, uh, that's what's going on with this commercial job. You know, I'm very proud of it. Very proud of where my team's headed. Look forward to it.